Uh, 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 don't give me, uh, it only made me stronger, uh, and I can't You hit his car, man. Who? You scraped it right there. You didn't see the car moving like that. Oh, no. <laughs> you hit the car when you bagged out. You turned too early. I don't see no scratch. Spin the thing right there. What scratch is? It's, it's real out. tiny, yeah. Right there, you see the little scuff mark on the little piece that's sticking out right behind the tire. The little triangular piece. Uh-oh. You see it? <laughs> I'm a degenerate, man. You just can't drive. I'm a college dropout. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> hey, we're going to talk about Yeezy, man. Everybody been talking about Ye lately. You know, we ain't, we ain't give our opinion on Ye, man. Everybody know, want to know what we think about Ye. What we think about Yeezy, you know, his his switch up, his change up, you know. Or if it's even a change up. Me personally, man, I don't think it's a change up, man. I know back in 2016 that Joker started talking about um, Trump and he was up on stage. He was like, hey, man, I'm talking about Jay-Z. Jay-Z, I know you got killers, man. <laughs> Don't send him at my head, man. <laughs> I was like, bruh. Oh, yeah, he been talking. Like, like a week or so later, that Joker was in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. I remember he was on stage. He was talking. He was saying, you know, talking about the industry, talking about music industry stuff and how they... How they control you, you know. He started just talking about control, 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 and how the left and how, how the media and everything is controlling. You. And uh, once he start talking that, talking about that, you know, they start tripping off of him. And yeah, I think yeah, always been yeah. To be honest with you, you know, of course he, oh, he, he always said what he wanted. Yeah, to say. exactly. He never he always said what he wanted to say. But of course, the meet his meeting with Trump, he brought out some things like when he was saying. Uh, you know, back when he was tripping about when he called when he called Bush a racist or whatever, saying he didn't care about black people. He said back then he still was in that. He always he was always he always been yay. But he was saying even back then he still had that mentality like the slave mentality. He still had that that mentality of of, of that welfare state of mind. He said he was still stuck in that victim even back. Yeah, that victim mentality. He said even back then he was stuck in that. But he was always saying what he wanted to say. So I think it was only a matter of the time before he came out and was like, you know. Yeah, I, I, I think this, I think that, you know, he, I don't think he's come out and say, hey, I'm a conservative, this, that, or the other, because I don't think he really would be classified as conservative. But I mean, yeah, but like I said, I don't think he, I don't think he can, has a, come out as conservative. I wouldn't classify him as a conservative. I don't think he would either, because, I mean, he sticks views and stuff on a lot of things. A lot of conservatives probably wouldn't agree with, but the thing is, he really hasn't changed. Like I said, the truth is the truth. When you see the victimhood mentality that's been peddled around exactly. black folks in this nation, it's just it's crazy. Who wants to be it? Yeah, exactly. Who wants to be constantly stuck in a position where you need somebody else to pull you up all yeah. the time? And, and another thing too now is like it's like everyone's talking about Kanye. Everyone's talking about before, of course, people was oh yeah, he look crazy. But it was more so the urban community. They'll say, Oh yeah, yeah, is yeah, whatever. They he would say what he would say, but they were like, Yeah, 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 is yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah, is yeah, whatever. Now like everybody turning on. Everybody turning on. And the media is putting them out there and they just talking like, you know, you got CNN and stuff, they on there talking about him, calling him a token Negro, like, you know, like it's nothing. And then you got other I mean, all Don Lemon. media outlets. Don Lemon. His mother's rolling in her grave. Yeah, no, I'm man. talking about that man, mama. Yeah, exactly. It's so the media, all the media outlets are just going ham on this dude. Like they ain't giving him no breathing room. Which before it wasn't like that. When he was coming out, like you said, with George Bush doesn't care about black people. You know, the media talked about it, but now they bash well, him like crazy. They even when he took for the because he was talking yeah. about a problem. Even when he took the, the mic from Taylor Swift, you know, he you, you got these uh the oh and he was tripping. Yeah, people. I mean, he was he was he was being yay. Yeah, he was being yay or whatever, but and people were, you know, people criticize it, but it wasn't on to the extent of he's, which he's being criticized Y'all now. Know how yay it's crazy, is. yeah, and they just let it go. But now it's like they're oh, really demonizing crazy. this dude because he came out and supported Trump, like really. And that's another thing. It's like you support Trump, you know, you got a negative strike. Now you support yay, then you indirectly supporting Trump. So yeah, so it's, it's like the media is trying to make you think a certain way. They're acting just like just like Democrats, basically. They're trying to make you pound you with your vote in a certain way or, or, or think in a certain way. But the funny thing about it is, Ye never told anybody how to vote. He's never told anybody how to think. He's not he's not demonizing anybody. He even at the meeting that he was at with Trump, he was like, I love everybody. I love Hillary. I love, he said he loved Hillary for, for goodness sakes. My God. 
<laughs> so I mean, he's, he, he, he always talk love, always talking love. So he never told anybody how to think. So that's my thing. It's like, how are you gonna jump on this man, jump down this man's throat? And he hasn't said you need to get over to the Republican Republican side, of black people. Vote Republican. That's what you need to do. He, he never he ain't told, said that. He hasn't said that. But they yet they tripping off of him, saying that he's crazy, saying he's lost his yeah, mind. Coons, and, yeah, Uncle Tom, the same. All, all, all these little, the yeah, all the little names or whatever they they call him. And he even came out about his his uh his like mental health or whatever. Of course, he you know, he was popping pills, doing this, that, and the other, and it affected him obviously. But he also said at the meeting with Trump that the people ain't really playing and talking about. It. He said his like his uh IQ he did a little IQ test with well because he had to do because they said he thought he, I guess he was not supposed to diagnose with by being bipolar. So he went to a um, neurologist or something like that, and they did a test on him. And this dude, well, he got scored like a ninety something on his like ninety six percent IQ or something like that. Anyway, basically he's a genius. Like the dude is smart, so he's not stupid. He's really not an, an idiot. He's not crazy like everybody's trying to put it out there to be, you know. So the dude is actually smart. No one man should have all that power. Trump the man; these other dudes is cowards. And when you sit and sit there and hear him talking to Trump. Everything he was rattling off, he was giving him ideas. All these uh, these statistics and stuff, he was, he was just rattling them off. That's not a, a, a crazy person, you know. <laughs> That's not somebody who is not in their right mind who who can really do that. So the media, of course, they sound bites here and there, try to make the man sound crazy, but he's not crazy. And he said nothing in that that meeting with Trump that would even coincide with what the media was saying about him after that. They're like, oh, I can't believe this, Kanye. Kind of, oh my God, are you? The dude just said Chicago, we need to we need to bring jobs back to America, and, when, and he gave his ideas on how to do. It. I mean, like, what what's so crazy about that? They're putting jobs in Chicago. Yeah, what what was so crazy? But it's nothing. Nothing was crazy about that meeting with, with Trump. Nothing's been crazy about anything he's really said politically at all. Of course, there's, there's people tripping off the Thirteenth Amendment comment when he said you need to apologize whatever because he got an idea. <laughs> the way he views that, he said it's like a it's like a, it's like a basically like a slippery slope, you know. Why would we have something in, in, in here that's like a, a trap door? You know, he, he calls it a trap door. He gave his reason behind why he feels that way. Let the man be, <laughs> you know? Exactly. He think that way. Instead of bashing him, tell him why. You exactly. Like wrong. Why? And that's the thing. Everybody Anybody that was, saying why they think he's wrong. They just say, no, you're cool. Yep. You know what Just throwing words like that. No, yep. tell the man why you think he's wrong. And that's exactly, that's the same thing between with, with Trump. Like, you bashing him, but you're not saying... It, why you don't agree with his policy? You're not saying why. And the same thing with Kanye. You're saying he's crazy or whatever, this, that, and the other, but you're not giving any reasons against what he's actually saying. So it's really like, basically, like, shut up. <laughs> nobody nobody wants to hear that. If you ain't got no no actual facts and reasoning behind being against the man, let the man be. That's why they don't care. Trump doesn't care when people talk about him. Uh, of course, you hit back, but in reality, he doesn't really care. You know, he knows what his mission is. Kanye's the same way. He guys, he, he knows what his mission is. So, he doesn't really care what you say about him. We don't care. Pretty much. Same thing with us. We don't care. You want to talk about us. You don't agree with us, but you really don't got no facts back it up. Whatever. You just call people names. We don't care. We, we take we, we take that. We love it. You want to play the name calling game. Yeah. We can play that game. Yeah, but we really don't care. <laughs> you know? He likes feeding trolls. He likes feeding trolls. Oh, feeding trolls is fun. Yeah, feeding trolls. No, Especially when they get out there and meet the sip look stupid. That, that, that's the fun part. Exactly, exactly. But anyway, yeah, that's our thoughts on Kanye. So, you know, in the comment section, you can leave it and let us know what you think. Do you think Kanye's lost his mind? Do you even care about the whole Kanye debacle? Do you, you think that we, we're just crazy for, for thinking the way we're thinking? Uh, do you think we should be more open in support for Kanye or whatnot? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section. Shout out to Rich Ben. Shout out to Rich Ben, yeah, Rich yeah. Rich Ben was our first patron on our new Patreon channel. Y'all didn't know we had a other one before, did you? Yeah, because it sucked too bad. But um, he was our first um patron, yeah, and God, he's the first HB patron. So appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. This was his yeah, idea inspired. for the video. He sent us a um, question that he wanted to us to talk Videos about. Inspired what by you, we ben. thought about how Kanye got red peeled. Yep. And like I said, we think that he's always really been that way, but he just now more so coming out about it. Especially, and, it and it's become more of a big thing since he, since it's a Trump thing. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. behind Trump. The is there. The truth is out there. All you got to do is look, look it up, for yeah. it. And it's the, it may so, yeah. Kanye's not crazy. <laughs> he's crazy, but he's not crazy. <laughs> but anyway, continue to fight for the Constitution, people. With these.
so then hopefully, preferably, we never have to use, like get out, these. Peace. Is that a cop? Is that a cop? 